How's it going guys? What I wanted to do in this video is share with you some of the steps involved in trying to troubleshoot a communication issue with an NAE or an SNE to your server. Uh, we're all familiar with the red X indicating that a device is offline. Now there are some times that the cause of this is loss of power or there could be some type of a blink power blink that has caused the device to hang up however there are other issues that may be involved as well typically what we will do when trying to resolve an issue like this is if the power cycle does not resolve the issue uh, we will then simply try to plug a laptop into the network connection where the device is and make sure that we do have a good connection if that is part of the problem, then we will simply contact IT and let them know what's going on, and they can usually uh, solve the issue from there. I mean, IT equipment does fail just like anything else. If there is good, solid communication between the device and the network, the problem could be uh, much more of a challenge, and we're going to talk about a few of those things in this video. The first step beyond the uh, checking the network is to see if you can browse to the device locally. Uh, you know, connecting to the device. If you know the device's IP address, you may even try to use some of the tools such as SCT if you have it available to try to identify the device's IP address. Now, uh, we're going to be talking about uh, something here in a few minutes that uh, will play into some of the potential communication issues depending on the version of Metasys you're running as well as the way your IT security is. If you are able to browse to the device using your SCT, if you have SCT on your local laptop, uh, you know that's a good thing, that's a very useful tool. Try browsing from your server to the device. You know, if you do have remote access to your server or if you have any kind of direct access to your server and are able to browse into the device, then there is something that may be a little more of a challenge to overcome. Uh, there is a file within your server that we need to take a look at. If you can browse to your device from your server, it is obvious that your server is able to communicate with it, but then there is something going on within Metasys itself. Uh, and again, guys, this is just a guide, a, a help. This may or may not be your particular issue, but I wanted to share some of this information with you all just in case that it is. On your server, there is going to be on your hard drive, local disk, Windows, System32, in the Drivers folder, there is another folder called ETC. And what you will need to do is double click into that folder and there is the hosts file that you can see right here. And that's something that you need to pay close attention to. Open your hosts file using Notepad, but be very careful what you do from here on. The host file is going to contain the names as well as the IP addresses for all of your devices. Now, sometimes there may be an issue within Metasys that will not allow the automatic updating of this. Uh, you know, for example, if your IT department changes the IP address for a device, then if this file does not get updated properly by the system, then the device may not show up online with your server. It may not be in your network tree the way that it should be. Again, you can see it is just a list of all of your devices as well as their respective IP addresses. And you may need to make sure that the IP address for your device is correct on this list. Now if you do not feel comfortable in making changes within your server then you might want to talk to a technician and let them make those changes because you can mess up your system if you edit that uh, file incorrectly. In fact you might want to make a backup copy of that file before you do any kind of changes. But what seems to happen in some systems is if the IP address 
gets changed by the network department. For example, most of uh, a lot of devices are all DHCP enabled, depending on your organization's uh, IT requirements. Uh, sometimes they will repurpose IP addresses. Now that can lead to a device going offline. So if the device goes offline with your server, if it is uh, has a new IP address pushed to it by your IP de IT department, and it is not communicating with your server, it is a potential possibility that the problem could be the IP address that is in that host file does not match what is in your device. Now one thing that we noticed when we fought this issue, uh, we began fighting it when we first uh, went to Metasys 11. And one of the things that has happened since then is any changes to a device's IP address, the device will come up as a red X. Uh, we are able to browse to the device from the server and after verifying that the device can communicate with the server by browsing to it, we would then check the host file to make sure that the IP address is correct between in that host file as far as what it thinks the device IP address should be. If there are any strange characters or anything like that, if you have done a recent update to your system and upgrade to your system, any kind of strange characters can cause that issue and that's how we learned of it ourselves. When we first went to Metasys 11, uh, the technician that was there that did the work and did a phenomenal job, that was something that he found. So he had to go through and edit most of the devices uh, within that host file, the names, because it had, for some reason, had added a, I think, a colon or semicolon to each of those devices and it knocked them offline. But since then, as I mentioned earlier, uh, when IT changes a IP address for a device, uh, that file is not being updated automatically, uh, either it being network security or whatever it is. It is an issue that uh, does happen occasionally. So going in, correcting the IP address, making sure that it matches with the IP address on your device uh, can typically resolve the problem, or at least that it has in our case. Uh, you know, that is something that uh, you may want to check with yours as well. But guys, this is just a video that I wanted to do to try to help some of you all out. I know that this can be a little bit of a challenge at times, trying to figure out why a device is not communicating the way that it should. If it is a newer device, such as an SNE, you want to make sure that it is paired with your server. However, if the device is paired with the server, uh, but is not showing up online, again, it could be that host file problem. Okay, that's just something that you may want to check. But guys, just a quick video that I wanted to do. Uh, if this is something that you've run into, I'd like to hear your experiences down in the comments below. Hope this is helpful to you. Guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to visit my website at systemcontroltech.net. Check out the rest of the videos on my channel. Be sure to subscribe, and we will see you next time.